3D Print Show California with our friend Jack Warren from Toner Plastics, and it's nice to see you on our coast. Oh, it's, it's great to be here. So tell us a little bit about what's been going on at Toner Plastics. Uh, at Toner Plastics, you know, this has been a good year for us. Our 3D business is growing. Um, one of the things that we're focused on now is helping companies to start their businesses in, in 3D printing supply, things like that. So um, companies are wanting to look for a U.S., wanting to find a U.S. manufacturer of filament. Um, a that's, consistent manufacturer of filament, right? That's right. probably because you want it consistent if you're going to bring it in an OEM standpoint, right? That's right. That's right. So some of them have had um, previous experiences with poor filament suppliers, and so we're working with them to try to help them out and, and get going um, with our filament. That's great, and uh, you've got some strands for the Doodler pen, I noticed. We do. There, there are a couple 3D printing pens on the market now, so we can produce the strands. We make them in 10-inch lengths, um, wide variety of colors, PLA and ABS, and they come in a tube, which is a nice package. It's You can open it up and put them back in. So they're not getting uh, crimped and messed up. They don't get messed up. They don't get all over the place, so it's a nice little storage package, too. Great, and is your, has your facility been expanding, the volume growing? It has been. We moved into our facility. Uh, we just had our anniversary this past August. Um, we've been there for a year. We have a 125,000 square foot facility. Um, we continue to add more extrusion lines as our business grows, and so we're pretty happy about that. And you do uh, ABS and, and PLA? We do ABS and PLA. That's mostly what um, people in the desktop community are buying. Um, we also do TPU. That's had some success. They, we, people say it prints really well. Um, we're working on some other materials as well. We're working on a PET filament. We're working on a conductive filament, a highly conductive filament. That's great. Um, in conjunction with our um, compounding company, s &E Specialty Polymers, we're working together to bring a, a new filament to the market. So that would be like, you know, you could put a battery in there and it would just run. Yeah, you could you could light an LED with it, um, things like that. Not it's There's static dissipative conductive filament, but this is going to be, we think, is going to be truly conductive. That's great. So. That would be fabulous. That really changes it, and that really makes it so that you can really print and then go. That's right. That's right. So, well, that's great. Well, I'm so glad to catch up with you and see uh, that you guys have a great range of colors and things are growing, and that's really great. Great. So good. Thanks well, thank so much, you. Jack. Good to see you okay, again. Okay, thank you.